Hi, welcome to Nursing School Explained. Today I'm going to go over a dosage calculation problem that I actually received from one of my subscribers. This was a problem that was puzzling them. And so let's go over this step by step using dimensional analysis. So first of all, we have nitroglycerin that's given to us in a dosage or in the bag that's available at eight milligrams per 100 ml. And then the IV pump settings are is 60 milliliters per hour. The patient's weight, 36.36 kilograms. And the question now is how many micrograms per kilo per minute are infusing? Now this is a little bit of a turned around problem. Many times you have the micrograms per kilo per minute and I need to figure out the milliliters per hour. This is just turned around, but either way, using dimensional analysis, we always start out with what we're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for micrograms per kilo per minute. And as always with our dimensional analysis, we need to find I like to start with putting the microgram. So whatever I'm looking for, start the dimensions out with that. Now, if I look at my problem here, I don't have any micrograms given. What I have given is milligrams, but I know the relationship from micrograms to milligrams. So 1000 micrograms is one milligram. And then I can go ahead and start my dimensions. So now I know that I have to put the eight milligrams on top here. And the ratio that we have is the 100 milliliters. And then what do I do with the milliliters? So in order to cross cancel those later, I will put my 60 ml per hour here. And then I know that the one hour has 60 minutes. And the only other thing that's left is the kilo. So I have to do something with the kilos. Typically when we're looking for milliliters per hour, we can always put the weight over one. In this case scenario, we're just going to turn it around one over 36.36 kilogram and then equal. So this should all be in one line. I just ran out of space here. So now I'm going to cross cancel my units to see if it is truly micrograms per kilo per minute that I'm going to come up here with. So I'm going to keep my micrograms here because that's what I'm looking for. Milligrams and milligrams cancel out. Milliliters and milliliters cancel out. Hours and hours cancel out. What I'm left with is the minutes and the kilograms on the bottom. So micrograms in the numerator and kilograms and minutes on the bottom. So now all I have to do is do my math. If you like to cross cancel, you can do that here too. One easy way to do that is just cancel out the 60. If you're not comfortable doing that, just go ahead and plug in all the numbers on top and divide them by all the numbers on the bottom. And that comes out to 2.2 micrograms per kilo per minute. And this will be our answer. Um, I have not used nitroglycerin in quite some time, so I could not remember the dosage. So I went back to my nifty uh, drug book and it says for nitroglycerin infusion um, IV to start at five micrograms per minute and the max dose is 200 micrograms per minute. So now even if I would multiply this here, so the 2.2 micrograms per kilo, so the patient weighs 36.36 kilos. So doing the math here, 2.2 by 36.36 comes out to 79.99, so really 80 micrograms per kilo, no, per minute, because we've already put the kilos in there. And this is still less than the max dose of 200 micrograms per minute. So I'm good to go with this nitroglycerin. If you're having trouble with any of these dimensional analysis problems, go back to my dimensional analysis playlist, where I start with much more simpler examples that'll tell you how to set this up correctly each time so that you get even these kind of complicated problems right every time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.